trying to make history, Haiti is funding its own elections for the first time in more than 25 years. Leftist Jean-Charles Moise is one of 27 candidates running for president. It's the first election since 1990 fully funded by Haiti and not with foreign assistance. The U.S. and the EU refused to pay for the election after the results of the most recent vote were thrown out after an investigation found they were marred by fraud. The U.S. has even asked for $2 million back from the government. Haiti's Electoral Commission estimates it will spend $25 million on the first round alone, a heavy burden for the poor country. Still, many people support the idea. It's great that this government is taking this action because they decided not to take money from the international community to fund these elections. That shows we want to take control of our destiny, dignity and sovereignty. This election means a lot to us. It means freedom and we're going to fight for our independence hero's legacy. We need to keep fighting to preserve what he represents. Local analysts say this is a key moment. American imperialism demonstrates that clearly they do not want the election to be held. There is a risk of the elections being sabotaged in collusion with the political powerful. Instability has become the norm in Haiti. Its past is checkered with coups. Political violence, corruption and fraud are still common. The hope for those running for office and for those voting for them is that this election will be fair and put Haiti on a surer path to democracy. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, 